What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Courtney, and we are back. Now, look, I this is going to be another relationship question hour, but I want to see what you guys want to call this segment. Would it be um, relationship hour, or is it going to be like car chronicles? Because every time I have, I come up with these genius ideas, y'all. I'm driving. I don't know if it's because I have peace of mind to be by myself and I can think, you know. Uh, but I'll, most of the time when I'm talking to you guys, I am driving. So, y'all let me know down below what do you guys want to call this? Relationship hour or... Is it going to be Driving Chronicles? Since I'm always coming to y'all. But let's get down to it. Let's get to the question of the hour, you guys. Let's get down to it. So my question today is, if they cheat, should I stay? Now, this is going to be so touchy for people. I'm going to get all kind of questions, opinions, thoughts and everybody is entitled to that um but of course you know i always got an opinion so if they cheat should you stay eh. okay here's my thing i think you have to genuinely know i'm sorry y'all i stand jackson <laughs> I think y'all I think you have to genuinely know your partner, okay? And nine times out of, out of ten, you know their characteristics, you know who they are. My thing is I I forgive you once, but there ain't gonna be no twice and there ain't gonna be no third time. First time shame on you. Second time, shame on me. Ain't no third time, bitch. Ain't no third time, okay? Ain't no second time, okay? So, here's the thing. As human, as people, we all make mistakes. Regard, Whether it is... And I guess you have to be a forgiving person. If you're not a forgiving person and you then I, I don't know. But um we're human. We all make mistakes. So I get it. As a as adults and as you go through life, you know what I'm saying? As you experience shit in life. I'm sorry, y'all, forgive me for curse. If as you experience stuff through life, you start to understand that stuff happens and, and you know and sometimes it's out of your control you know sometimes but you you aren't perfect you know what I'm saying so stuff happens so you have to be able and willing to forgive. I'm not saying that cheating is okay because it's absolutely not okay. If you're going to say that you're committed to me and I'm committed to you and this is what we're going to be, then honor that. But don't, I, I don't want y'all to think that I'm saying cheating is okay. But what I'm saying is if you're going to accept the fact that your partner made a must then and you're, you want to continue to be in the relationship you guys got to communicate because y'all know that's my number one thing communicate you got to communicate that the situation will never happen again it was a mistake ain't no second time no third time no fourth time no fifth time when you get to being like that then Baby, you need to get out of that. You stupid as hell. I just want to let you know. For, show this to your friends. Your family. Who always ask you for their damn opinion. And they don't fucking listen to y'all. Show this to them. You stupid as hell. To still be in a relationship with a motherfucker who keep cheating on you. Why? Why? Is that okay? What, what issues do you have where that is acceptable to you that your partner keeps cheating and you throw it in the air as oh it's okay 
Men cheat. Women cheat. We all cheat anyway, so it's okay. I'm just going to stay with them. That shit's not acceptable. That person has no respect for you as a person. Respect yourself enough to know that that, that is not okay. Like, come on, man. Know that that is not okay. Respect yourself to understand that this is not an acceptable behavior like what put it in your what what in your head makes that person cheating on you okay like are you if you that insecure or you've been through so many things and you're that damaged you need to speak with somebody okay you 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 need to talk to somebody and see how it is that you can fix yourself because how the hell you're gonna expect for somebody to how do you expect for somebody to respect you when you don't respect yourself? Like, you got to love yourself before you can enter into a relationship with people. People just want to be in a relationship with folks under the circumstances. They want somebody to lay beside them at night. They don't want to lay by themselves. They don't want to be by themselves. They don't want to They don't want the world to know that they by themselves. Forget that. You got to... Let me tell you something. What's going to be for you is going to be for you. Do not accept nobody constantly cheating on you. Okay? Get, find you somebody else that respect you or be by your damn self. Now back to it. Should I stay with them? If if y'all are in agreement and that person that person truly knows the consequences of what it would be if they lose you you know um not saying from a financial aspect but just to lose you as a person as a friend as a, a spouse you know what that would be to lose you you know um and that you know they're not gonna do it again then I say try especially if that's the love of your life you love them you know yeah y'all grown y'all grown and shit y'all know stuff happened man stuff happens stuff happened just be honest with each other or if some may write in relationship talk to each other so that it won't lead to those kind of things so don't always think that oh they fucked up don't act like you didn't play a part in some of the reason why they fucked up because somewhere you lacked where they had to go to somebody else for something some most of the time mo i'm not gonna say all the time but most of the time you lack somewhere whether that was communication affection thoughts feelings whatever you lacked somewhere where they fell into the arms of someone else now if that if you gave your all then that's that's a rare situation. It ain't you. That's your that's your partner. But like I said, we human. We all got flaws. You know what I'm saying? It. Um. Ooh, what the hell going on over there? I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I may not need to do this. I'm driving, y'all. Y'all, let me know. Like, what you think? I say, know your partner. Except that it would never happen again. If it happens again. That's it. The person don't have respect for you. Understand that people make mistakes. Understand. Do not accept somebody constantly cheated on you. Know your worth. Know who you are. Go into a relationship knowing everything that you want. And if that person cannot meet the things that you want and you are willing to accept and what you will accept, what you won't accept. Go into, go into a relationship with those things on your list so you won't come out disappointed. Like, let people know up front, hey, this is what I want. This is what I will accept. This is what I will not accept. If you cannot meet those standards, then this cannot be f this this thing we got going on, it can't be. So y'all let me know down below. 
is it okay for them to cheat? Y'all comment down below. Will you take them back? Like all of your opinions, your questions, your thoughts, your feelings, your experience. Have you been cheated on before? Like, uh, tell me the stories. You know, have you been cheated on before? How did it make you feel? What part did you play in it where it caused your partner to cheat? Y'all let me know. And again, y'all let me know what y'all want me to call this. Car Chronicles or Relationship Hour. Y'all let me know. Um, y'all know it's Courtney23 on Instagram. And my new Yahoo account, if you guys didn't watch the last video, my new Yahoo account specifically for my YouTube is... Courtney Shine, C O U R T N A Y S H I N E S 2323 at yahoo.com. Thank y'all for watching and subscribe.